back again to and today we are gonna be playing Minecraft Feed the Beast Unstable once again. Yeah, I last played in the middle of October, so it's now uh, the beginning of January, so it's almost been uh, three months. And the deadlines I was talking about way back in November, yeah, those are uh, happening in like uh, less than two weeks. So I'm not gonna have much time for video making right now, but I really, I really want to record videos for YouTube because you know, it's a fun hobby and uh, I appreciate your guys' support. It really means a lot to me. It makes me really happy to know that everyone enjoys watching my videos. So this is an interesting mod. I just wanted to find a mod that we could focus on in today's video that like I could actually do. So this is called Heaven Paradise Plan. And we're actually gonna need slime balls, but uh, you can craft different types of seeds to grow crops. So you can grow like ender pearls and diamonds even. And we're gonna need to have a lot of diamonds. So I think we should start farming these seeds if we can figure out how to do it. So there's these different tiers of uh, base essence. So I'm not exactly sure how to get these. It doesn't actually show you how to get tier 1, so I'm probably gonna have to look that up, but I'll, I'll let you guys know what, what happens. So I did figure it out, but I don't have the materials to do it yet. I only have 5 seeds, in which I'm gonna need 8 of them. So you put an oak log in the table, and then you surround it with seeds, which we only have birch trees around here. Oh, I just lied. We do have oak, so I'm going to harvest some of that, and hopefully the seed will grow, so then we can make this uh, plant. Uh, you just grow it on like any farmland, and then uh, it drops essence, so that can be used to craft the additional plants, like the ones that grow the redstone and diamonds. So I think that's uh, really cool. It's gonna be an easy way to farm. And uh, I don't want to be like, I don't want this let's play to be super easy, you know? But like, a lot of the fun stuff requires the basics, you know? And uh, I, the basics is like, um, what already is in Minecraft. So like, what you can do in vanilla Minecraft so like for example you know mining diamonds uh, that's something in vanilla minecraft and a lot of mods require that like uh, forbidden in arcanus requires diamond and this other mod that i want to mess around with requires diamond and of course we could just sit here for hours mining diamonds but i think maybe it would be a little quicker if we had uh, the seeds so i'm gonna try that Hello my precious Minecrafters, I'm back and I was just here listening to jazz music and um, there's a dungeon as you can see, uh, you can see right there, there's a spawner and uh, this, this dude, the stray, hopefully we don't fall in any of this lava, but as you can see I got the, the strange purple effect again, which is like really uncomfortable I just still don't know what mod it's from but it's okay anyway we got two leads awesome an anvil and an enchantment table which is cool because like we didn't have that yet and uh, there's a mod there's a mod called apotheosis I don't okay hell shaft is hell hell shelf is new and that provides double the enchanting powder power but we have to go to the nether and um, the spawner looks different they changed the spawner so like it has skeleton on it and uh, there's knowledge potions which are really interesting and I think sundering is new I'm unsure on that uh, but yeah some of these are marked as apotheosis but they're actually in vanilla minecraft so it's a little weird but yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys since like i saw a spawner i'm over here by the lava looking for diamonds i don't know what just happened but something blew up so there was like two bats and then i stepped somewhere and something blew up um so i died again 
Oh, I wish you guys could have seen that. I'm sorry. All right, time to turn on our map so that we can head back to our base because I have a horrible sense of a uh, direction. But I maybe we can see what creature blew us up if we go back. Uh, it I did not see like anything besides two bats. You know, a, a pile of lava. I was actually crafting more torches, so I was vulnerable because I was uh, crafting torches while while being there, which was probably a horrible idea. Uh, it's a habit of mine to do things like that, to do vulnerable things in the face of danger. And uh, that's what happens. When that happens, you get blown up and it's like game over. But anyway, we were like super duper far down. So it's gonna take like a couple of minutes to get where we were. It's very plausible that a creeper just fell on my head and it blew me up while I was crafting torches. Oh well, uh, well it's time. Gotta make room in our inventory. <laughs> Ah, no, I dropped it. Okay, so this is weird. It looks like there's a spawner here, but it just spawned it drowned. Like, do, do, yeah, it says drowned on here. So like, it spawns the, the zombies drowned. That's really interesting to me. Cause like, they're spawning in the middle of a cave. Um, I I just threw away something for coral. <laughs> That's silly. But yeah, it's uh I never seen a spawner spawn uh, drowned before. So I think that's neat. Jeez, look at all these mobs. Ah, no. Ah. Oh my god. I think he died. Did you die? What? I'm Okay. I think we're safe, but I don't think we got an ender pearl, which is sad because I was hoping for that. Oh wait, he's over here! Or maybe this is another one. I don't know, but we're about to die actually. Oh well, just go with it. <laughs> Alright, we might have an issue and uh, the issue is this, I'm poisoned, I'm about to die and I'm getting attacked by cave spiders. So. I'm gonna do 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 oh, <laughs> No, I thought I thought I could finally save myself by uh, putting cobblestone. Oh man, that uh, two deaths in one episode. What do you guys think about that? My my lack of skill. I I got cave spiders pounced on me once, and yet I didn't expect uh, three more, three more to spawn. Also, am I going the right way? No, I'm not going the right way. Classic, classic baka beans. Classic. Oh my god! After all that, we finally found diamond. Oh, and it's a, it's a bunch of them too. Thank God. Oh my god, this is like our first real uh, diamond vein because I think the last diamond we got from uh, one of those lucky ore things. So we got six diamonds. This is very good news. So. I'm gonna make a diamond pickaxe right away, and then I'm gonna get obsidian. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna explore the nether. So while I'm here mining obsidian, I'm gonna grab some of this uh, chaos ore, or chaos ore. And that'll allow me to make these ingots right here. You, the, with, with the unfired chaos iron ingots. And then you get this chaos dust from two of the chaos crystals. So if you do it like this, you get the dust. And then once you have the dust, you put it in between iron in the crafting table. And then you just have to smelt this up and then you'll get the ingots. So then besides that, you need the diamond, the silver, lapis lazuli. But it's like a similar recipe to the enchanting table. And it, it, it makes your gear OP. But you also need a, a pillar, so not like typical pillars, but like uh, gems. So, for example, if you if you have a lot of uh, peridot gems, like these ones here are peridot, and I use this in my other save. 
but you can make the block of peridots and then uh, you stack them up to four layers, three or four layers, and you around the supercharger, and it makes your gear OP, like I said. Um, it's really good. So, if you get a gem that specializes in speed and is like tier 3, like this diamond pickaxe, though the diamond pickaxe is slow, but once you get like a supercharged one, then you'll be able to mine this obsidian like super duper fast. But right now we don't have that, so I am mining it slow as ever. And I don't know where these um, mobs keep coming out of nowhere. Like, I don't know where they're coming from. I think. I think they're coming down this waterfall uh, and it was a bit dangerous because like a creeper came in and it tried to blow me up while I was uh, mining but thankfully uh, I could survive. <laughs> Alright I entered our crafting table again so this is how you make the chaos or chaos iron ingot and you just top it in here and now we'll get eight which is enough for this but You'll see, we'll need a lot more for the for these uh, pillars, because uh, you have to actually put one of the one of the chaos or chaos iron ingots or not ingots blocks on top of. You have to put these on top of each of the pillars, so this alone is nine. So nine times four plus what you're making in here and it's just a pain but uh, we have to go mining again so yeah mining hello everyone it is now the next day in real life and I forgot we were gonna go to the nether so quickly I'm gonna put away my items and then uh, go to the nether now I totally forget what the sign said so I'm just gonna put miscellaneous on it since I'm pretty sure it's just a bunch of miscellaneous items. Oh, and I got this dark stone, which this is actually found on like layer six or so on underground. Uh, it's from Forbidden Arcanus, and it just looks awesome. Like you can see right here, it has bricks, right? Okay, and these bricks, like I think they're pretty cool. Let me actually place some so you can see it though. There's not much room to place blocks here. Okay, there we go. I think they would make like a great floor for our base. So that's why I have those. Hopefully we won't die because like, we only have iron armor and it's not enchanted or anything. We do have an, a ring and an amulet, which provides a little bit of armor as well, which is nice, but we really do not have the best gear which is why I wanted to get that uh, supercharger. You know, I brought this up a little bit ago, this supercharger here. So I want to get that, which is why we have these in here as well. And we're very close to getting those one seeds I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Actually, they aren't actually seeds. They're called, well, they're basically like from this one mod. It's like essence. Oh, and my game crashed. That's wonderful. So, sorry about that. My game crashed, but this is what I'm trying to show you guys. This diamond seed right here uh, from the Heaven Paradise mod and uh, from this essence that we're trying to grow. <laughs> so, yeah, that is what I wanted to say. And I'm going to go set up this nether portal now. Another thing that's going to change is that... Okay, so you just saw me... Uh, I have a bunch of ladders in my inventory. I just use my wood to cr craft them. But yeah, I'm just gonna make this ladder go down a little more. Uh, I'm gonna actually like put stops in it. Like uh, it's gonna go down this way, uh, and I'm gonna do it like a stair ladder. So there's gonna be like steps in between, and that's just so like I don't die in one hit in case I fall off the ladder because I know I can hold shift while on it, but. To, uh, to be frank, I fall off the ladder quite often. It will help us get down to the mine faster, which will be good. Okay, so before going to the nether, I just want to say we can finally craft the seed we need. So we just put this log here and then surround it with the seed and we get base essence seeds. So now we need a hoe. Maybe I can make more of these seeds in the future so that 
I can get the essence easy but basically uh, the base essence seeds they'll give you this a tier of essence and then uh, you can use these to craft the different types of seeds which actually give you stuff yeah so yeah um, I'm just gonna plant this here we really should like move some water out and make like a proper farm <laughs> since there's not really much room here I mean this tree is kind of covering up the room and I kind of just place stuff randomly right now though I guess it's all wheat but all right so I just lit the portal it's the moment of truth let's -a go <laughs> gotta make sure to mark when we skid in so that I don't get lost uh, lag lag and lava all right so we are like in a pit. I don't know how to get out of here, but I'm gonna first of all mark us, mark the portal, make it a nice bright purple if there is one. Okay, magenta works too. This is magenta. Uh, let's do the standard diamond. Uh, so somehow we gotta get out of here. The ladders would have been helpful here, but I used them all. So I've been mining for like almost 10 minutes, I think, and we hit bedrock, like, gosh dang it, we hit bedrock. And that means this is the top, this is the top of the nether. Uh, we are currently in the under garden and it's been under garden forever. Look, this is how much I mined. I don't know if 10 minutes is accurate, it might have been less than that, but it's been quite a while. I've been persistent. And we hit bedrock, and I want to be in the actual like nether biome. I want to find another fortress, but I w I made all of these steps, and I'm still not in like the nether area. I'm still underground in like this weird this weird place. I want to be in the nether so you know I can fight the wither skeletons and the blazes, and I want to see the new mobs and stuff like that. But instead of that, I'm just, you know, way down here. And uh, look how far far up that goes. Maybe I can try making like steps to the top of here. And then whenever I go through the portal, I could use these steps. So maybe I'll try that. I could do like a spiral staircase. Just, just hope I don't fall prey for me. I should have just done this in the first place, but I didn't have many materials, but now I have plenty of materials. I have an, an abundance of netherrack, so let's just go for it, see if anything's up here. Oh, there is! Yay! See, that's the solution. So yeah, this is the under garden, so as you can see, it's like a garden. There's lots of plants, there's another one of these shrubs, and there is this ore, citron. I don't know. It's it's level diamond, so it's probably, probably, yeah. It only has harvest level to the second power again, which is most of my gems right now. I don't think I have anything harvest power to the third, besides diamond. Also, diamond breaks obsidian, but these only break diamond. Is what I mean by like the power levels. I was trying to see if there's any new mobs, but only pigmen. Uh, just gotta be careful here. It's like a maze. A skeleton cow. I kind of want to murder them. I don't know how they feel about this, but I don't know what else to do. Oh, they are, okay. No, they aren't hostile. They just run around like maniacs. Oh, tch. I stepped on a fire flower. Darn it. Uh, they don't drop anything. That's sad. I feel bad. <laughs> I don't want to kill them for nothing. Ooh, there's uh, nether warp blocks. Are these? Uh, I don't. It says they're from Minecraft, but I ne I don't remember them being here before. Can like I actually get nether warts out of them? Oh, hey, I can. So that's like if you need nether warts, you don't have to go to a fortress anymore. You can uh, just collect the blocks. That's really nice. But, you know, I still need to go to a fortress for the blazes and uh, wither skeletons. I don't really have a lot of time right now. Oh, jeez. I have a water bucket, but I think it'll disappear if I use it. Yeah. 
that cannot save me. <laughs> oh god, where's my food? Okay, thank god for calamari. That was scary. Oh, this is new. This is new. This is a part of a uh, silent gear, the new netherwood. I usually see netherwood by fortresses, so I wonder if there's a fortress nearby, but I don't see one. Anyways, I'm gonna pick this up. I forget if it has a planks recipe. I guess we could look real quick. Yeah, they're bright red, red like blood red planks. Man, I'm like out of torches already and I have uh, barely any coal. <laughs> But I guess it's okay because it's the nether and like the nether's hostile anyways. This also should drop a sapling, but I'm not sure if I can grow it in the overworld or if it's exclusive to the nether. Anyway, I think we should go home because like I have no food. Uh, I literally have no food. I don't think I can eat any of these. So... I think I'm gonna go home to our base underground maybe I can start building like our actual base with the with those blocks I showed you earlier but I don't have like any blocks to do the walls with which is what I'm looking for but eh, maybe I can find something maybe I can do it out of these bright red uh, blocks here with the nether wood <laughs> So the audio for this clip did not record, but I wanted to say that there's a wandering trader in my home and uh, he's just taken his llamas for a swim and I'm like, why? Why are you in my home? And uh, he's just sitting there, you know, he's just staying there and his llamas going for a dip. So that's a thing and I hope they get out of my base soon, but I need to make a proper base anyway, so that's a thing. Hello everyone, I'm here a week later just to say that I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm hoping to get my schedule fixed soon like I haven't been uploading very much as you can probably notice but I hope to be able to get uh, maybe another Sims 2 video out soon since that's a pretty fun game so I hope you guys look forward to my future uploads and uh, remember if you enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe bye bye